All right, I've made a start, and just to be different, I thought I'd start with the road ahead. I uh, just wanted to see how it all goes together and how the uh, blades fit in to the head. So, several steps to it. Um, I'll just point out a couple of things just to watch for. So this is like a mirrored piece, so that's that piece, you can see the same shape and you put inserts, these inserts and the centerpiece insert and just keep in mind that the inserts have got obviously the grooves, you can pick that one out but these end ones also have a lipped edge that need to be the right way up otherwise these pieces won't uh, fit in properly so just keep that in mind otherwise there's no issues there and uh, that's so this will sit on top and uh, these will sit no, I've got to clean them all up I've only just glued them so I've got to clean up the seam seams where the glue joins so they'll fit in there and uh, then there's another part of these go on and then these pieces will go on top I haven't had a proper look how they go on yet but uh, so yeah so and for the rotor blades as we all thought they just plug in um, so that works well because obviously when we're looking at how wide this thing's going to be for transport purposes and uh, just for storage just makes it nice and easy to remove also the top of the road ahead this part there was several pieces go together and there's a clear part which I thought was odd but I had a look online and uh, you can see light through the images I could find on the road ahead but I'm not sure if it's actual perspex in the real thing or it's just uh, nothing there but I'm assuming there must be glass or perspex in the real thing otherwise why would they have added that so there so we're moving along I still got to do all the uh, like those parts clean up glue them in but also I got to do all the uh, pins Adjusting, adjusting rods for the blades have to go in there's a whole heap of them to go on yet but so yeah we're making a bit of a start excuse my messy bench you can see the peripheral sides there of all my mess but this takes up some room uh, so it's all together it's 62.5 centimeters across so that gives you an idea how much space it's going to take up the uh, right ahead, no, oh, no issues, just uh, some of the parts like these are two halves that go together, same as these on top, so cleaning them up is a bit awkward in areas because they're hard to get at, I used best I could, oh, where? sanding sponge where I could get it easy and then bits of sponge and a pair of tweezers and some hard to get areas and just rub that it to get at it and a small piece of sandpaper and tweezers same thing just to get it hard to get areas uh, so when I prime it I'll have to check in that there's nowhere that needs filling the top piece it's got the slots grooves in it that fit on these so uh, it'll just sit like that no worries but I'll paint that separate so I can get it uh, the right ahead I thought it'll be lots of fun and all metal colors but it's just painted the aircraft color so it'll be olive drab uh, the only other there wasn't a problem but to be aware of is on your uh, rotor blades where the mold molds join the seam where the molds join there's a 
uh, not flash, but you can see the the line, the seam line. Uh, it needs cleaning up because it's a bit pronounced. So that no biggie and on the ends as well. Uh, they'll be black. Well, the color call out is for rubber black, but I usually use NATO black, but either or. And I'll probably add some different shades in there to liven them up because it's a focal point of the aircraft when you look at it. And uh, yeah, so that's probably going on three hours work to do get the right ahead and the blades prepared it's a pretty uh, impressive looking beast just that alone I had a look at images online of the helicopter and I I thought oh maybe we can add some wiring to it, but it doesn't that part of the the right ahead doesn't appear to really have any wiring on it that what you see there is pretty much what it is so yes yeah, so making progress I still haven't started on the cockpit. I've moved back to the fuselage section. With the uh, winch, crane winch inside. So I've painted that up. Uh, I just mixed up colours for the steel cable and paint, hand painted that section um, using olive drab. That'll be the colour of the helicopter. Um, no problems there going together it'll fit well just it's uh cross bulkheads have to go certain ways they're wedged and you can see the side the uh, size the shape of the wedge which way they go so everything's got to go a particular way so just keep that in mind well, i haven't glued the piece on the side yet but I've just done the the interior of the frame um, yeah so no problems there I was just putting the tail section on uh, and I noticed in the instructions ICM have omitted a part so we see here we got these uh, bulkheads that's D17 D20 and there's a groove there I didn't take much notice to it so I got over here and I was putting the glue on the tail exterior skin on and I noticed in the image there's a part in there which uh, they haven't put the number in for the part um, I can't remember cut it off it was D D11 D11 is the part number that goes in there between the, the sturdy up between those two bulkheads. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're uh, building it that that needs to go in.